Is innovation too focused on tomorrow without doing enough for the people living today? Hey guys, this is Jorge from the Big Band Podcast. I am here with my co-host Adrian. And today's episode is all about pretty much the innovation bandwagon. Um, There is an interesting article that I read this morning on Fast Company Exist that lays out a author's kind of like reviews an author's book basically where he argues that uh you know i i mean how how can i put this um basically he's saying that we are obsessed with the future (laughs) with creating the future just just for the heck of it um this this is actually one of the best arguments i've read of anybody uh, with, with regards to the, the topic of, of innovation. Um, and I thought we should we should discuss it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so basically what he's laying out is, is an argument that um, we created the situation for ourselves. The situation is that anybody who's anybody now basically claims that they're being, doing, you know, just to create the future, they just end up jumping on the bandwagon, whilst we're just forgetting about the stuff that actually matters in the t- in the here and the now. Uh, he lays out in his book, which I would, as I said, is, is reviewed on that article, that you know when at the beginning of time, um, when there was no theory of innovation, we were basically, you know, creating stuff to meet our needs, <laughs> whereas today we are just artificially creating needs and then marking the hell out of it <laughs> yeah and then people just jump on the bandwagon because they want to have the latest and greatest thing yeah that just is a bunch of crap right yeah. and you and I would have talked about this before um, what's different about this 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 discussion today even though we've discussed this topic before is that this guy takes a, a look at behind like years years and before uh, to see how we got to this point. <laughs> um, the reason I, I think is, 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 is interesting to look to, you know, to take a look into the past and then you know to, to, to understand how the hell we got here is that a lot of people don't know how we got here and they just, as we've said before, they jump on the bandwagon, claim to create want to create the future because they put all these benefits out there and Obviously, they create no future. They are just marketing. <laughs> you see what I mean? Yeah. Um, you know the, the 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 bottom line is is that um, I was having this discussion earlier today in the morning at a coffee shop uh, with a buddy of mine, and he was saying that uh, because tomorrow. I have a meeting with the Tijuana Innovadora group down in Tijuana. Um, For those of you who are listening who don't know what Tijuana Innovadora is, it's basically Tijuana, the city where we live, uh, intent on saying we are innovative. (laughs) Um, Anybody who knows about innovation like us know that Tijuana Innovadora is nothing more than a PR stunt. uh, yes, they they brought in Steve Wozniak in the first edition of it. They brought brought a bunch of people from across the world to give talks on innovation stuff, which is basically just a PR PR stunt uh, because they don't do anything; just people just talking. Um, and if you go out to Tijuana and Nueva and you tell them this stuff, uh, they feel they feel like there's you feel they feel like as though we are disrespecting them <laughs> for for saying the truth. <laughs> But see, that's that's an example of people just jumping on the bandwagon of something that's, you know, out there in, in, in the world and they have to slap the label innovative in a city that does nothing innovative whatsoever. <laughs> the shortcut into the future is, is basically what they're trying to do. And this is this is an, an isolated isolated incident. It's it's across the world. Um, you know, but if you really, if you really, um, you know, think about this stuff, it's it's not it's not rocket science. It's just, um, 
you know, it's it's just it's just bullshit. It's just a bunch of bullshit. People are just bullshitting around with with words, and throw them around. And you know, if you if you ask questions, deep questions, provocative questions to them, you can tell right away that they're not doing crap. They're just marketing. They're just you know basically just jumping on the bandwagon, as we were saying. Um, you know, can we can we can we do something about it? <laughs> Should we do something about it? <laughs> Should we not care? <laughs> I think it's just better not to care because I mean it, it's, we've said this before uh, most of the people are I'm not going to say dumb because I, I want to give them the benefit of the doubt but they're at a level that I mean the, the, the why is the every Apple product like so uh, successful it's because most of the people buy them and most of the you're not going to tell me that most of the people are smart and, uh, I mean, they're not. So, they're not. <laughs> so, uh, all, all this uh, innovation for the future and all that stuff that you were saying that's just marketing, I mean, it's, it's, we can't change the world or the majority of the, of the people. So, I, that's why I say we shouldn't care because we won't be able to change a goddamn thing. It's how things are right now and we can try and change people who are not in that um, group, but I mean, it's gonna be just the minimum, but you know, what's gonna happen? I mean, we're just gonna like lose our time. Yeah, you know, th like I'm just reading through the thing here and here's this, a paragraph where he asks, or they ask in the article, should everyone be a futurist? And why, why is he asking that? Because if you, if you spend any time on social media, especially on, on on Twitter with the hashtag innovation you will see a lot of uh, uh, you know uh, you should do this you should do that you should be this you should be that uh, you should be disruptive and stuff like that um, and you know you should be a damn futurist <laughs> because if you aren't then you will be irrelevant and shit <laughs> um, n number one no, not everybody's gonna be a futurist <laughs> uh, yes people should have curiosity but nobody's gonna Heck, nobody's a freaking futurist. <laughs> it's the truth. It's the fucking truth. Yes, there are techniques to, to you know, put yourself in a in a you know, think about things differently. Yes, there are techniques to do that, but nobody is going to predict the future as it, as it's if it's unfolding. I mean, as you create the damn future, um, <laughs> but it's, it's insane. Like, like I was going to ask you, like. Like in my, in, I don't know, in my case, like I've, like I'm just going back in time and, you know, across my, my life and I'm just thinking like when I did anything that was considered innovative, um, I did not know even what the hell the word innovation was at that point in my life. <laughs> I was just doing it because I was dissatisfied with the state of things. <laughs> that was my, that was my trigger. <laughs> And when I did something, and then I got like like rewards or you know things of that nature, saying that oh I was an innovative person and whatnot, I was like oh that's interesting. I didn't know what, that was the first time I've heard about it. <laughs> but for me, it was because you know I'm just dissatisfied with something that I'm living through, and I I I I think there's a better way, and these things are in my way, so I figure out a way to eliminate them, <laughs> and then do whatever the hell I thought was was worth doing and that was considered innovative nowadays it's you know it's it's different it's like let's just be innovative for the hell of it um, and I think that's just the wrong way to approach it <laughs> yeah <laughs> like I was reading like I was reading another article I mean just for just this this just yesterday and today I mean uh, an article on the Atlantic where there's there's a picture of like these slippers um, that look like, like, uh, you know, like bedtime slippers. I don't know what you mm -hmm. call those. Yeah. Um, and it's the, the, the title of the article is, this, this, is the sign of obsessed with innovation. It's basically a couple of guys saying we need to redesign the slippers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I was like, hmm, okay, let's read through this freaking thousand word article let's see let's do it <laughs> and I was like okay I, I get it 
But at the same time, the picture that I saw is not is not like anything different from a freaking slipper. I mean, it's just the uh, sure it has some interesting features like a like a mock toe kind of design on it. But I'm you really thinking the 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 argument was for the mock toe. You know what the mock mock toe is? I think so. It's like the like the the the, the edge of the of the toe, mm -hmm. and they just put like a like a like a good, um, I don't know, maybe it's different in different shoes, but in this case it was like a plastic type of thing. Mm -hmm. Basically it's because uh, when we have slippers that we tend to hit, hit our, our feet against, you know, objects in the floor and we might get hurt. So they decided to put a freaking mock toe on this thing and say, oh, it has a mock toe so you don't get hurt and it's also very lightweight. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> I mean, I was saying... Have we even had thoughts about, you know, bad slippers? I mean, I know we hit ourselves with stuff on the floor, but, I mean, they're already lightweight as, as far as I'm concerned. So, I mean, basically what I'm trying to say is this: these guys went about just, just redesigning the slippers because they thought, you know, they could make it more lightweight and more safe for our feet. That was the argument. <laughs> safer for our feet. Yeah. I, I mean... I mean, I... But, but see, I'm, I'm not trying to argue that... The, what they're trying to do is wrong. What I'm trying to say is because those are like happy accidents. <laughs> you know, I think you need those type of things in order to figure out some other shit. <laughs> but at the same time, because in the day we live in, somebody decided to write an article about that and say, this is ridiculous. We're, obs we're so obsessed that some people are taking time to redesign the slippers. <laughs> and it's not like they made an, an amazing... No, it's redesign. not. Redesign. It's no. Just added a few things. A few things that, here and there, and that's it. I mean, how many times do you hit your your your? Yeah, feet? I know. I mean, maybe one, two or three times a a year. <laughs> yeah. So it's not something something that oh my god, my life's gonna change. <laughs> I can walk without a worry that I'm yeah. gonna hit my big. My toe. nails are gonna start growing. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> but see what I mean? It's just insane. Yeah. Um, and and you know the, what's what's funny is that that. Uh, you know, there's there's all these freaking techniques and methodologies like design thinking and whatnot, uh, design design this, design that, that you know it's it's just gone overboard, um, and I totally get it, I totally get it. I mean, it's it's we're giving tools to a lot of other people to start doing shit, and um, you know, that's fine. I mean, we never had this before in in the history of life, but now we do. <laughs> and it's become this whole, uh, you know, topic of discussion every other day about everything being ready to be disrupted and <laughs> and, and changed and whatnot. <laughs> and I don't think I don't think that's the way to way to look at it. I think we're missing, as we said in the previous episode, that we're just basically, um, you know, trying to create shit just for the hell of it and not focusing on what we really need. Um, <laughs> like uh, like freaking climate change and <laughs> the future of food <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, and the, the freaking future of medicine because by the way uh, antibiotics are, are, are not working anymore <laughs> 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 and we're spending time redesigning freaking slippers <laughs> yeah of course I, it's because that's what they're <laughs> capable of I think like the, the, their brain only gives. I think it's because so it's easy to market. <laughs> I mean, but it's still, a freaking it's, gimmick, man. <laughs> yeah, it's a gimmick. It's a one hundred percent gimmick. It's not like I, I wouldn't buy them if someone told me, "Oh, did you know new slippers that you won't be able to hit your toe anymore?" It's like, okay, thank you, but I like my slippers. Remember that episode where we talk about the the the, the smart home? Yeah. And why should all the freaking objects in our home and around us should be connected? Well. A couple of weeks ago, I read an article that somebody decided to argue the same thing as we were arguing, because now they've figured out that, duh, we don't really need this shit. <laughs> it, I mean, it's just, it sounds good, but when you have it, it's like, it's more like a preoccupation, because now you're thinking, shit, somebody's going to be able to hack me. <laughs> I'm like, well, didn't they think about this before? <laughs> Obviously, if everything's connected to the freaking internet... <laughs> Everything's hackable. <laughs> yeah. You thought you thought it was gonna be just fun in Kumbaya? <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean. So I mean, it's it's just insane. It's just insane. Um, have you heard about the bot stuff? 
What bot stuff? The bot, bot, like B-O-T. Yeah, what? You heard about that stuff? Oh, no. No? Okay, so the, the bot, because that's another area of where it's just, um, you know, you can, you can look at it like a gimmick or you can look at it like a phase. Um, I, I, I tend to look at it in, uh, in between look. I try not to jump on the hype because I've already experimented with the bot stuff. Basically, like there's bots on, on Facebook now that you can friend and, uh, from companies and, you know, kind of like tech support or support for some shit. That's kind of like the, the use case right now. Um, where the, 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 the account behind that is, is a bot. It's not, it's a program. It's not a freaking human. It's not somebody from Netflix answering your question directly. It's a freaking, a freaking robot or a freaking algorithm in this case, um, that's answering your questions. So they've been trained to answer certain questions. Um, T. Ay, quitita. No me dijiste nada, pues. Ay, pues, ¿qué crees que el Jorge viene aquí a hacer nada o qué? Yeah, so, so basically, it's this is the new hype right now. It's like the, the, the I think it's like, they're calling it like the third wave of computing because it's the entry point towards AI in this case. But these bots are still so damn dumb that they create this false expectation for people where, you know, they're going in there talking to these things and they're thinking they're people and they're not. <laughs> so, I mean, it's just a bunch of, bunch of marketing. Obviously, it doesn't work. Uh, but see, the point being here is that I think, I think we're, we've conditioned, you know, uh, people to accept uh, things that don't work perfectly yet. <laughs> In, in, in an effort to then perfect it and with their help with their help yeah and and that was a big a big turning point probably like 10, 10 years ago uh, because the internet enabled that thing but I think now um, I think people are less um, less less uh, I think uh, what's the word less patient with this stuff <laughs> um, yeah they want things now yeah I mean, this is this is really crazy to me, and it, and to me personally, I've been gaming since um, the the Nintendo, the Game Boy, and the Nintendo. So, um, I I've grown up, and you too have grown up with games yeah. and the evolution of games since when they started, basically. So to me, it seems ridiculous, and I don't even know why they do it. But you can buy alpha stage games. Yeah. And you can buy them and play them. You couldn't before. Now you can. But, I mean, why would you... It's not even a beta stage. It's yeah, an alpha it's stage. A, it's an early stage. But so it's, very it's early stage. practically here. We're going to pre-sell you a game. And you can start playing the cheatiest... The cheatiest <laughs> stage of development. And you can help us make it. Yeah. I mean, it's like you're paying them for something that they should be paying someone to do. Yeah. And I, I really, I, I'd rather wait and give me a game uh, that's complete and I'll pay for that. But I don't want to, I mean, why are they doing that? It's, it's all this you're I, talking about. I, yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's obviously it's the marketing, um, how they market these things. Obviously the hype. I want to have the latest and greatest thing before anybody else does. But it's ridiculous. I know, I know. It, it's, 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 it, I mean... It's it's created this this need to to hook people in um, before you know you there's actually anything launched. Obviously, you know Apple perfected this stuff <laughs> um, because I mean everybody was going berserk before anything ever launched. <laughs> yeah, you're making they're they're waiting in line two days before the, the launch of anything and. All this stuff, right? I mean, that's like the, the best case scenario for any company. But now it's like everybody wants to replicate that stuff. And, um, uh, you know, it's it, they're finding hooks and everything. And, you know, that's where we are right now. Um, you know, I've, you know if, 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 if you read any of the stuff that I, that I write, you will see that 
um, maybe up until about two years ago, I was still kind of like, um, I don't want to say stuck in this bandwagon innovation, but you know, kind of like still, you know, posting stuff. Um, and then two years from from then to heat to today, uh, I've decided to, you know, cut down on it deliberately because I was like, you know, this we're we're stuck in the same stuff. <laughs> yeah. We're just we're just repeating and repeating and repeating. And I said, you know, I said to myself, I can't, I can keep, I just can't keep doing this. If I'm just writing to keep up with this stuff, this is ridiculous. This is the the worst the worst use of my time. Um, and that 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 then like I don't know months later, that's when you and I started talking about doing a freaking podcast <laughs> about the future and talking about these things. And I said, you know, that's the next phase <laughs> because now I get to 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 critique this shit <laughs> as opposed to just keep <laughs> you adding to the to the fire. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> to the fire that everybody's you know you know keeps you know just surrounding and um it's because of this you know i've actually decided myself that you know even when i talk to to companies now it's it's like they they want to hear the bullshit and i can't i just can't say it <laughs> it doesn't come out of me it's like no 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 yeah it, it's pretty hard I, i've been in that situation too where you need to get certain clients you need to talk the bullshit talk and it, it, it I feel ridiculous doing it I mean yeah. it's, it, this is stupid why am I if I need to do this to get this client then I don't need this client this yeah. client's gonna be uh, I can't freaking do it yeah it's, I just it's, can't say the freaking bullshit I just can't say it it, it just because you know the the what comes out of me is shit this is so freaking interesting that we should freaking do it <laughs> That's what comes out of me. Yeah. But it doesn't. It's not like oh, this is a great area of opportunity. Uh, the such and such technologies are disrupting your industry. You should freaking do something about it. Like yes, it's happening, <laughs> but that shouldn't be the reason why you should be taking action. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If you are taking action because of that, well, you're already in in the in a very bad you know in the wrong type of mindset. <laughs> But I mean, just, bullshit just does, does not come out of my mouth. It's just I just can't do it. And I, you know, when I were like again, when I was reading this article, I was like, "Fuck! This is the one of the best best laid out arguments I've read in a while about the the current state of things and where we are at right now and how we got here." Um, <laughs> because nobody writes about that. <laughs> and you know, I was thinking, "Damn, I should have wrote, written about this before." But I did not take a look like he did, or this author did, into the took took the time to look deep 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 into this stuff to have a good argument to present it. My arg argument has always been like, um, you know what? Um, how the get how the hell did we get here? I think we just conditioned people to believe of the bunch of marketing that is innovation, that they should just do innovation just for the hell of it. When in truth they're not doing anything. It's just It's just nothing. Um, it's just marking. It's marketing and marketing and marketing. Um, you know, and, and, and that's that's it. But you know, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna tell this story right now. Uh, I'm gonna mention the name, but you know who it is. Um, he's a he's a common friend of us, and of ours. He owns a restaurant. He's just recently launched, less than a year ago, and he asked me to help him. And um, the bottom line is that the strategy we come up with is not anything out of the ordinary. <laughs> um, I deliberately did not try to provoke, uh, you know, something more interesting because it's impossible. <laughs> His dad will not permit it. <laughs> it's impossible. I could have said, you know, let's rethink the whole notion of what a freaking restaurant is right and we could decide it to let's eliminate fucking chairs <laughs> let's eliminate freaking certain freaking ingredients right let's eliminate you know cooks let's eliminate food uh, altogether. you know we can we can go down that road and find interesting angles to explore but i said i can't freaking do it 
because I know his father is going to just jump ship out of this shit. <laughs> so what did I do? I decided, let's, let's just focus on what we have, <laughs> which is the traditional way. And I just kind of put some, you know... Sense I, into it. Some sense into it, yeah, some structure into it. To, to just make it more, you know, like it's not fucked up. <laughs> and it's not going to be fucked up in a while. But opens the doors to probably doing more interesting stuff. But where we're going to do interesting stuff, and there's a marketing side. But see, I'm handicapped because the marketing side, yes, the, the food is actually pretty damn good. But um, it's just a freaking restaurant. <laughs> Nothing's changed from what you know in your scheme of your head of what a restaurant is. Um, but I'm, 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 I'm hoping that by, you know, putting these ideas forward that opens up, you know, areas of opportunity where we can explore and do more interesting stuff. Because I knew that if we were to really, really take a, a crack at it and say, you know, fuck the restaurant industry, it's freaking boring, let's do something about it. <laughs> we, we could have done it, but his father will not permit it. It's just, it's just the way it is. And I said, you know, we're going to have a freaking headache if we go down that road. So let's just, work with what we have, do some tweaks here and there, and try to make something interesting. But open the doors to then potentially doing some more interesting stuff. But, you know, that's where we at. You know, it's not because, because this is not what I would typically do. <laughs> but in this case, I said, shit, I'm, we are handicapped, man. <laughs> you got no money. <laughs> Uh, your freaking dad is a freaking old school, school. motherfucker <laughs> to the bone <laughs> and you know we're in freaking Tijuana <laughs> we're in freaking Tijuana <laughs> Tijuana and Odora. you know <laughs> uh, we're a freaking handicap what's, what's so innovative about Tijuana nothing <laughs> and then a guy comes along and makes a movie for seven hundred dollars. You know what's innovative? You know what what's, what's freaking innovative, Tijuana? What? We in this fucking podcast talk about this shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know I can go going on and on with freaking stories of how how f you know effed up you know it is down here with regards with to all this bullshit. Just this morning I had two conversations about this topic and that. I, I still hadn't even sent you this stuff. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> no, I did. I had. I had. I just... No, I did. Because I, I sent just this like at 7 in the morning. But like two yeah. hours later, I was sitting like with somebody. 6 a.m. Yeah, something like that. But like two or three hours later, I was sitting with, with somebody and we were having a conversation where I was saying, you know, we, we need to execute a very bold strategy. And he, he literally didn't say, no, that's too damn bold. He just said, well, let's tone it down because we're in freaking Tijuana. And I said, that's precisely why we should act this way, because we're in freaking Tijuana. <laughs> I said, if we start acting like freaking mediocrity, then that's, that's what we are. We're freaking mediocre just to fit in. But see, that's, that's me when I have control. Um, when I don't, like in this freaking restaurant, you know, it's, you're handicapped. There's, everything, is, everything is against you. But you're doing the best that you can in the yeah. sense that you're you're trying to plant a seed for something yeah, else exactly. to grow in the future. That, yeah. It's not like you're succumbing to No, I'm uh, not. Do I'm, I'm I'm working with what's there and you know, thinking 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 things through and also saying, you know, how can we potentially put ourselves in a better situation and say, Okay, so this needs to happen in order for this to open the doors and then we can start playing the real freaking game. But <laughs> but, you know, as it stands right now, it's a freaking restaurant. The damn, the food is damn good. Um, that's damn good. But you know, <laughs> if all that's you're looking for, head over there and get the fram food. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> but um, yeah, man, it just it's just insane. But but see, uh, what I really say, you know, the most interesting this thing that's going on in freaking Tijuana is us. It's freaking us. <laughs> we're talking about this shit. We're actually talking about that. The, the fact that we're actually talking about it is 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 enough. Is enough. <laughs> Dude, when 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 I'm at the front of something, I'm head, I'm heading to twenty no later, later, to, tomorrow morning. By the way, <laughs> to do a presentation, <laughs> and I'm gonna talk about this shit. <laughs> when, when when I'm at like when I'm call, playing Call of Duty and I'm like the top player, I know that shit's wrong because uh, <laughs> or that we're losing because I'm the best player they got. Yeah, and this is the same the same thing. I mean, if, if 
if I'm part of what's most innovative, innovative in in Tijuana, then something's wrong. Something's freaking wrong. Yeah, something's wrong. Something's dude. freaking wrong, man. <laughs> you know, it's it's funny, man, because I I went, you know, in, during the day I went to uh, to uh, to you know where, where I used to have my 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 old office. Um, to uh, you know, we were doing something there, and uh, we had a talk with the with the manager, and she just he she just jumped in about a month ago, so she's new. And we were talking. I mentioned, oh, by the way, I used to have my office here, and uh, uh, your company was my client during two years. And she was like, oh, really? Like, what what, what happened? Or what did you do? So I started, you know, you know, telling the stories about certain things that we did, and we. She was like. Oh my God! So why did you leave? <laughs> she was like, "You should, you should be here." <laughs> and I was like, "I know, I know, right?" And I told her, "Listen, when I was here, I used to tell, uh, you know, the the one of the previous managers that we were the we were the most fun um, client that they had at the office, at the offices, because everybody else was freaking boring. We were we were we were the guys who came up with all the ideas. We were proposing stuff to do." crazy shit and then we actually pulled it off and all the other people were just there freaking there to sit in their butts to do supposedly productive work but <laughs> and when you tell these stories they're like everybody's like god damn like that seems like so so long time ago and we don't do that stuff anymore <laughs> and she was like hey let's do more of that stuff and I'm like let's do it <laughs> those are the conversations that we should be having <laughs> as opposed to saying <laughs> Damn, you guys are damn crazy. <laughs> Can't believe you guys did that. <laughs> exactly. God damn, man. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> we're not even marketing anything. We're just we're just dissatisfied with the status quo. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, that's the yeah. that's the damn trigger. There's no oh we're gonna we're gonna pitch this idea just to seem smart and interesting. No. no. It's because fuck, this sh this shit's so fucking boring. Let's do something about it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. I mean, my, my problem with uh, everything is, uh, <clears throat> and I told you, hey, I, I have this problem that, or I, I, no, you told me that you just want to make everything better. If you can make something better, you yeah. want to make something better. It's and a trigger. I was like, wow. It's a mindset, a motivation. If I think about it, that's what happens to me whenever I get to a place or I, I use a business or a product or whatever. I'm like, automatically, how can I make this better? Is is it possible to make this better? If this happened, wouldn't that make the product better? Wouldn't yeah. that make our lives easier and better? Why why does it have to be this way? I mean, I think it's I think it's better if we do it this way. But everyone does it. This. I mean, and and your brain yeah. just starts going, just going and going on and going. And on and going on and on it's on something on. I can turn it off. I, it just immediately just okay. I'm get to our restaurant and well, this would be better if blah 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 blah. Yes. You want to you want to hear a. Uh, also, like an interesting story, a stupid one, but it's an yeah. interesting one. All right, so I decided to uh, to create a company called Unfuck Yourself. All right, so yeah. we go to the freaking, uh, what do you call it, the freaking lawyer or the freaking guy who does your things, I, I forget what they call it down here in Tijuana. Um, and since he's he's been in business for a long, long time, my buddy tells me, hey, by the way, uh, we have to go and, and argue that we should, you know, get that name. And like, what what the hell you mean we should, to, we have to argue, that's the freaking name we want. <laughs> he's like, well, because the guys, he's like, uh, he had, you know, uh, he's known uh, for having all these companies and stuff like that. I'm like, I don't give a shit. <laughs> I'm like, how old is he? He's like, no, he's like in his 60s or something. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> So I go in there and he tells me, no, I mean, you guys should, should decide on... So he decided for us what, name we, what names we should use. I'm like, what the fuck? I want to unfuck yourself. That's what I want to name my fucking company. If that's what I decide to do, then that's my freaking problem. That's not yours. He's like, no, but people are, are, are going to look at that and they're going to be like, oh, these guys are like... Uh -uh. I'm like, what? Like shit? <laughs> and I told him... You know what's, what shit is? People who have no imagination. <laughs> have no freaking guts. Did, he, did he, he have a say in, in the company you were making? or No. Was he like a mentor? He's just recommending. But my buddy, he, he, he looks up to authority figures. So he can't, he can't like get in his toes, but I can't because I'm like a freaking asshole, right? Or I'm, I seem like an asshole. So I said, shit, 
Like, I can't, I can't argue with this fucker. Because he doesn't want to do the process for us. Um, so he decided to put another name on it. And even made us make a list of more names. And I'm like, fuck. So the name that came out isn't, isn't even the name that I use to promote the stuff that I do. It's another freaking name. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck? And I said, listen. I told my buddy, listen. Okay, let's take that freaking name. But after that, we are taking the other one. I don't give a shit what he says. <laughs> I'll pay him double. I don't give a shit. But I got to have that name. That's our problem if, if, if we are looked upon as, as freaking, you know, You're... the scum of the earth or something. I don't care. We're going to use that name. <laughs> but see, that's what happens. People are scared are of, 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 of doing, you know, stuff or standing up for yourself. That's, that's, that's the thing. <laughs> and having uh, a point of view that's different. Um, and, and by the way, when I say I'm fuck yourself, I'm not just using it as a gimmick. I'm using it as a, as a, as a, a state of freaking mind. <laughs> like, as a, as, as a true thing. Like, that is literally the process of innovation. Oh, fuck yourself. <laughs> Get out of your own freaking way. Stop fucking yourself. Exactly, right? So, it's not a gimmick. Obviously, I know how to use it as a gimmick. But that's not the point. The point is, I... Dude, I even have... Oh, you saw this. The freaking t-shirts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have t-shirts of them. Fuck yourself. <laughs> so I was already thinking about this stuff. And this fucker gets in the way and says, No, you can't You can't use it. Or I recommend you shouldn't use it because blah, 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 this could happen. I'm like, Why what is the he fuck? recommending? Who is that guy? He's a freaking old fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Why is but anyway, that, that's that's the situation I have right now. But that's... That's exactly what we're talking about. <laughs> Why don't you just... Do a fuck yourself by yourself. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm just gonna go do it with him. You, you have no idea how much stress I have been under lately about... Everyone is um, telling me that I should bend over and just, like, take it. And if I need to make a film uh, that's, that everyone's gonna like or that it's something I don't like that I should do it because eventually I'll be able to do whatever I want and that I should do movies for people, for the public, not for myself and all that stuff that goes like yeah. against everything that I stand for. And it's stressing me out because it's it's everyone. Everyone is telling me that. Like every fucking one. And they're, it seems as if they're, they're not in the business at all but they think they're right. Mm -hmm. So, it, I don't know, just... I started doing movies because I wanted to do things for myself, yeah. by myself. I don't know, it's just stress for me. I don't I don't get it why people all everyone thinks that way. Just fucking crazy. But yeah, I mean that's that's really the state. The state of things and the state of <laughs> all the time. <laughs> all the time. Um it's what we deal with here. Yeah. Well it, you deal with it everywhere, but here it's like pronounced to yeah. the to the, with a capital, <laughs> with a capital, um, but, um, but you guys, I mean, really, uh, we'll put the, we'll put the link on the, on the blog post, and on the, bit on the, on the audio when we publish it, so you guys can read that article, um, and let us know what you think, because, I mean, this is, I mean, honestly, that's one of the best articles, and I, I've, I've already, I'm not, you know, purchased the book yet but I've had it I, I added it to my wish list I, I have a, other books I need to finish it you know before but I, I highly recommend you guys read that that article it's it definitely you know it'll make you think of the current state of things um, there's a section that I there was reading right before we jumped on on the air where they talk about how the hell we got here and, and it he lays out the argument that it starts that with the post World War two era and like in 1950s when the space race uh, you know, started, space and arms race started, and that created this sense of, you know, we need to own the future. So it's also like a political move that ignited this whole thing about, um, you know, constantly upgrading to, to stay ahead and for the hell of it. And I totally get that angle because it's a, it's, it's a warfare, it's a warfare argument. Um, but on a day-to-day -day basis, I mean, seriously, do we need new slippers? No. <laughs> no. 
No. Do you need a, when you need a fucking a, a, another Pokemon game? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that was funny, man, because I, I just read that uh, it's insane because that Pokemon Go thing made people co go out of their, their houses to explore the world. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you need a freaking trigger for a freaking game to go out and explore the world. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of people posting shit online that they've been losing weight. I know, no, it's because ridiculous. They're, they're it's ridiculous. There's a lot of people who are like, that it's Pokemon Go, but people are pronouncing it Pokemon Go. <laughs> My God. Pokemon Go. <laughs> well, Pokemon Go. <laughs> maybe we should talk about the next episode. <laughs> about, the about the Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go shit. Pokemon Go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, anyway, guys, have a good one, and uh, we'll talk to you next week. Okay, bye.